I'm Abigail Martin from MTSU Ice Hockey Club here with our new coach, Tim Rather. Coach Tim, I wanted to welcome you on behalf of all of MTSU Ice Hockey. We're so excited to have you as our coach for this upcoming season. Well, I'm excited to be here and uh, thank you. Of course. And so a lot of people around here know you as a former coach of the national hockey team for Hendersonville and also for the Junior Preds. And congratulations, you just won the 2019 Nash Cup. So what transition are you going to make? Because you have a very long coaching resume and this is going to be your first collegiate appearance and in going into the SEC. Are you feeling any pressure? Not feeling pressure. I'm excited. It should be a lot of fun. I know a number of the players on the team and, uh, you know, it's, it's been a long time coaching at Hendersonville and also with the Flyers and with the Preds. So I'm looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. It should be a great season. Speaking of those familiar faces, you have a lot of former players that you're not going to be coaching with, so you're reunited, and you also get to continue coaching your son, Jackson. Well, how are your feelings on being reunited and to continue your coaching streak with your son? Well, it's, uh, it's been great for all of these years, being able to be involved with my son and uh, to watch him grow up and then to continue to be part of that. And it's always been something I've been real conscious of, but at the same time, I've tried so hard never to be to play favorites with my son. Um, so I'm just glad to be there and watch him and be part of that experience and at the same time to let him uh, grow and develop and become an incredible young man. And as far as your team developing, what are gonna be your uh, strategies for coaching? How are you really gonna approach your now coaching role? Well, the uh, first of all, I think that the team has come such a long way and I think it's important to congratulate them on their success over the last years. I think the, uh, the previous coaches have done an outstanding job. I think Jason did a great job, and I commend them and thank Jason for all of his work and the, the great team leadership that they've put together here. They've really got a vision for what they want to do, and I hope I can help them put that into place. Um, transition, I want to help transition on the ice, not just transition with new coaching. I want to really help them systematically put together a great plan for the season and for game time. Transition up and down the ice. The zone to zone is something I really emphasize and to strategically move the puck from one end of the ice and uh, hopefully into the back of the net. Of course. And I've seen where you have mentioned playing smart. Can you explain that for me? Um, it's having smart goals, having very uh, goals that are attainable, that they are systematic, that they are measurable, that they're attainable, but having goals that we can really set and that we can, uh, uh, that they're time sensitive, things that we can do and achieve and look at back every game, every day, every night and say, okay, we, we're getting where we want to go. And I think it's really important whether we're young adults or old men like myself and look and see if we're making progress. Are we achieving what we want to do? And I think everybody likes to see if they're heading in the right direction. You're going into your first skate as a, your collegiate coach. So what are going to be your goals? What are you really going to look forward to and really hope to really put together at the end of this practice? Well, we want to have fun. I, I still believe this and I, I watch a lot of hockey and even at the pro level and I've talked to so many of the NHL coaches and even guys who are making millions of dollars sometimes I think the fun just gets taken right out of the game um, and for tonight I want to have fun I want the guys to enjoy being out here we're going to work our tails off we're going to get up and down the ice and I really want the guys to have a good time and as far as your season goes what is going to be your biggest goal and what are you really going to strive towards I think our biggest goal is, as a group, leadership wants to make the playoffs at the end of the season. And I think that's an attainable goal. I think once we move forward, you know, we're six weeks away from our first competition. Once we get the team on the ice, whole team, once school is in session, we get all of our group together, then we can start working toward that goal. And I think it's achievable, achievable, attainable. We've got a lot of talent on this group. Um, but you never know what the opponent has. So I think we've got uh, we've got a very capable team. It's a matter of just putting it together and going to work. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Coach, and good luck in your first practice and the rest of the season. We're excited to have you. And I'm excited <laughs> to be here. Thank you. Thank you.